Erica Leon couldn't believe the words she was hearing over the phone. Due to your dog's medical conditions, um, the, the, vet, the vet saw suited that your dog be euthanized. Her 19-year-old French poodle Maltese went missing on March 12th, a Sunday morning. By early afternoon, she was notified that Leona was on a missing flyer posted by the Animal Care Center in Brooklyn. She got in touch and it took an hour to verify she's the owner. I was just like, my dog's dead and they told me yes and that my dog was suffering and I asked them what is suffering to you. Paperwork from ACC notes that Leona was deaf, blind, had a heart murmur and dental issues. ACC is supposed to wait 72 hours before putting a dog down. The shelter tells PIX11 News in a statement in part, while the stray hold period is three days by law, if a licensed veterinarian finds an animal that is suffering and in a current state of decline, humane euthanasia is allowable before stray hold period is up. The same rules that they are supposed to follow, they seem to always have a very convenient loophole just to break those rules. Without her collar or microchip, ACC says they were unable to locate the owner. Leona was euthanized at 1.10 in the afternoon. Our tax money goes to them to provide care, and this is not that. This was an execution, um, and this is not the way that the city should be providing these services. Council member James Gennaro says local law 18 requires a full service shelter in each borough by 2024. The Bronx and Queens do not have one yet, which he says will reduce capacity at the current ACC shelters. Erica and her brother Juan hope no kill shelters will become more prevalent. Leona is now buried in the backyard, a place she once loved to be. It's starting to get warm outside and I look at my backyard and it's empty now like there's no you know, Leona won't be able to be outside and enjoy the warm weather. And Council Member Gennaro has written a letter to the Department of Health and Mental Hygiene, which oversees ACC and is asking for a thorough investigation. He also calls for ACC personnel to be fired or if the investigation warrants to be criminally charged.